our project on a pilot sediment control facility, which you can obviously see when I walk you through a little bit of. Um, these project goals are stuff that we've already gone over. I think it'd be easier just to, I mean, we got the dimensions of the pond and stuff, because obviously you can tell that we didn't quite get um, earth moving equipment in time to finish up. But um, we've got a good shape, a layout of what's going on. Um, here's the original design where we got our pipes coming from the pond, which is over there. Um, the valve box, which is right over there, which we're going to walk through that a little bit more. The channel is supposed to originally be 100 feet. I think we cut it down to 50 due to space. Um, we got the pond mostly dug. I mean, we just have to line it with plastic, and we got a little bit more concrete that needs to be laid. But, um, I'll let y'all walk them. Yeah, this is when we were actually installing the pipe, which is right there. We're going to walk up there in a second. But, uh, we just basically dug out that dam right there and laid the two eight-inch pipes in. <coughs> um, this is the backhoe Tommy ran for us. And then inside of that dam in the middle, there's an anti-seep collar we installed. It's about four inches thick. It wasn't exact, but, but uh, that's just to keep water seeping through that dam, which it really shouldn't be a problem with that clay. It should be pretty hard compacted. Not really an issue. Is just a pipe barrel, which we'll kind of go up here yeah, towards the box and show you all what's going on. Yeah, you look on the other side of the dam, this is where pipe starts at. All the way up into the dam. Um, and and see out other so midway through the dam right there. Very right on. This is our valve control box. We use these two valves to control the water flow through our channel. We buried them up to the lift so that they have to prevent them from freezing and maybe cracking or anything. We have to insulate them a little bit. We all planted this in ground feed right in front of here yesterday, so hopefully this ground can come up and stop this bank from eroding. We're trying to protect that pipe as much as we can to keep it from getting broken down in the sun and what cracking. We, what we did on the with the pipe burial is we packed clay up around it on the majority of it, up under it, and barely on the top of it. And then it came and poured topsoil over the top of it. That way we were able to plant the grass on top of it and keep the um, soil from eroding off of it whenever whenever it rains and stuff out here, which is going to happen. So. For future stuff for this box, we're going to get uh, two steel plates. So we'll have like a two-way swinging door to protect it and so we can lock it and keep people from messing with it. Um, we'll walk down to the... Um, yeah, we'll down. Talk about the, well, the, the, the spillway that we have to eventually cap so that the, the pond level will raise up is over there by that orange pipe. It's just, yeah. just a pipe in the middle of the pond. It's well, they're going to extend this dam out to around that point over there. And then whenever we tap off that spillway over there, it's going to raise the pond level up over these pipes enough. And where we'll just be able to turn on those valves and just grab it and put all the water out of here. We'll walk down to the channel and talk about that channel is on a little bit. We can actually look at this channel and basically what it would be. This is a bit larger channel. We're going to have that combined like this with the plastic. And we will not have the uh, rafters coming up through, I don't believe. Testing the pond rather than the channel flow. Um, our pond dimensions are 28 feet by 38 feet, which we actually shortened it up a little bit to accommodate for the channel that's already there. Um, if y'all want to come look, kind of look back into the pond and show you where it's going to go. Okay, for the sediment will actually take place. Uh, there will be small outlets placed along the bottom to, uh, for various uh, silt fence testing. Uh, 
comes back to a, to a secondary channel. Yeah, where he's standing, that'll be where our concrete weir basically is, so that we can control the water flow in and out of the pond. We have, I think, three different uh, removable steel plates so we can interchange in there. So you can essentially, in the end, that that slope back there is going to go down. It's going to be more slope where the water can just drain out of the pond whenever you pull the plates out. Actually, the photo of the valve box, which is what we were looking at over there, this is how we built it. We had two boxes and poured concrete on the inside. Now, this is our channel zone, which is five feet wide and uh, two and a half feet deep, so one foot depth. This is whatever. This is how he cut the um, this channel right here. He brought in a motor grader and just caught the blade sideways. And he just made a lot of passes down on each side just to kind of get that slope. Because uh, it's got to be in order for the water to drain out, it's got to be a gradual slope from the top of the channel all the way to the bottom, so the water will drain out of that canal down there. Here's a little bit about how the, I mean, the pond was dug. First, we had the that was everything. Obviously, was level down there. We got him to to um, Sam Shirley to go ahead. And whenever he cut the channel, he cut it all the way down. Um, and then we went around it and dug the pond around it. We started with a backhoe in the middle and dug it the, the ten foot by twenty foot with the backhoe four feet deep. And we shot. We had some surveying equipment. and We made sure that it was level at four feet in depth, you know, related to the slope, so and then we got the skid steer and kind yeah, of... It's, it's honestly, it it's not so. at level right now. We're going to have to go in and do some touch-ups and stuff with it because the equipment to run in there is kind of changed to the level, but for our next steps on it, um, we're obviously, the next thing to do will be to finish digging the pond and get the liner down to the channel and the uh, inside the pond so we can sort of baffles and then dam or dam and weir would be sort of the same thing going back there so we control water flow out of the pond and um, really once we get that done that'll be it and we'll just have to take we've got some like flexible hose we're going to hook to the end of that so we can direct water flow into the channel and then whoever's using it will be able to test set them and uh like See, cementation rates and stuff for our pond. And then the reason for having two pipes is we're going to have a flex hose to, we'll be able to control, but with those two valves we'll be able to run um, test on this channel and this one at the, or basically at the same time <coughs> if you wanted to. That's about <coughs> it. Um, any questions? Yeah.